Hello there. Welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2 Let's Play series, episode number 77, actually. Sitting here enjoying a sunrise out in the middle of nowhere. Well, not really in the middle of nowhere. I'm just, just in, up in space with my Axe of Healing, which is one of those, or Healing Axe, which is one of those um, you, very nice little tools that you can have, which basically just keeps you full. Now, what you can do if you have wings and you have that axe, you don't have to worry about anything spawning in from your flux or your taint and coming to kill you because it can't, <laughs> can't get to you. Fortunately, I haven't had anything spawn at me yet. So I have rearranged some of my node bullying in order to expedite this just a little bit. Uh, Ignis is almost at 50. Everything else is above 50. Again, the goal is 60. Five, so I'm still a ways away from that, but I did grab a, uh, I think it was a 42 node from the nether for Ignis, and I brought some other stuff over, and I've been rearranging and bouncing stuff around just a little bit, trying to get this to, to convert up just a little faster. Let's see, what else have I done? Now, the Sano Farm, <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it, it's a Sano Farm. The Potion Farm over here that is supposed to be running semi-automatically is running semi-automatically, but I am out of Nether Wart. Nether Wart is the only thing that I don't have an endless supply of, so I decided to try and remedy that. As you see here, we have a... Uh, the the farm that I had that was making the sugarcane is now making netherwort. So it needs to be grown in dark, and it needs to be on soul sand, and it needs to have crops. Now the cool thing about it is it does react well to the watering can. So if you have a desperate need or the inclination, you can sit here and, and and basically park on it with a watering can and get it to grow a bit faster. And the only thing this really cost me was three spots for trees to grow because I blocked it all in with half slabs. So it is working rather well. And I can throw some nether wart downstairs right now to get that going. So those are two things that I've been working on. And if you remember, I think it was last episode or maybe the episode before when I made the little discovery about <laughs> using the, uh, uh, the secondary switch on the auto crafting over here for the uh, arcane stuff. It's like, oh yeah, that's how it works. Um, that helped me be very productive in quests. As you saw, I just had a thomic barrel. For some reason, the one I had before either went away or disappeared. And uh, Bjarnovich decided to join and say, how? And the reason he decided to join was, well, I summoned mm. him in. But <laughs> the reality is I was attempting to, it used to be, and that's the key phrase here, it used to be. So that tells you a little bit of a spoiler, it didn't work. But it used to be that you could occasionally, when you turn in a stack, or not a stack, but a bag, that there was a chance that you would get an upgraded bag. Well, I went through six or seven stacks of these uncommon treasure bags with Bjarnovich. And not once did I get a rare. So let's... Okay, then. That was singularly unpleasant. Um, I found a new bug <laughs> that not only crashed, but it corrupted and did all kinds of things. So I lost about four minutes, I'm guessing. Um, I went to show you how the peck trading did not work for upgrading uncommon to rare. And that worked or it didn't work. I basically proved that it didn't work for, you know, a stack of bags. And then I came over here and I opened up my, hello, opened up my quest book to show you that 
I have accomplished quite a bit here. And then I saw that it says, you have died 1,024 times. And I went, no, I haven't. And I went, click. And I said, no, I haven't. Prove it to me. I went, click. And it went, okay, crash. <laughs> so that killed everything. I have died only once. So uh, matter of fact, you can still see I'm still up in the high, <laughs> high lots of experience levels. I did spend some in order to uh, make uh, Bjornovich his... Uh, his little name tag, but let's see. So I'm not going to click that again, obviously, because that did terrible bad things. Um, I th yeah, I talked about that. I've got my talked about the node. I'm trying to recover my brain crash too when it happened. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start turning in some of those quests. Almost all of them are in Mob Hunter. I lied. Uh, <laughs> I need that shard. That's, that's huge. Okay, no, almost all of them are in Thomcraft. So, as you can see, all of this stuff. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit busy. So, uh, yeah, I'll start claiming some rewards here until I have no more room for stuff. And claim rewards. Actually, I'm going to go do this over here so that I can throw them into, throw the excess into here. Essentia locus, clear, get rid of that, get rid of that. That can stay there. I want my bags there. Somehow I get an extra one of those. And whoop, nope, not what I wanted. Nope, nope, nope. All right, come on, you can play. All right, there we go. And that one there. Thing is, most of these, I'm not, I'm doing the quest to get them done. Some of the items, like the Viz Charge Relay, I will definitely use. Um, the Redstone V, I'm not gonna use it. I'll be honest. Um, it, it's, not that I'm unwilling to expand on what I'm doing, I'm just not seeing a necessary need. Whoops, wait a second. Oh, okay. Claim reward bucket of purifying fluids. Okay. Saline solution. All right, wand of focus fire, claim reward. Dreamy staff, now this, oh, dreamwood staffs. Oh, those, those are, um, yeah, it did some damage to my runes. I'm going to show you the, the recipe on that one. Bleep. Dream key. Dreamwood staff. Now, Dreamwood staff core requires two Dreamwood rods. <laughs> Dreamwood rods require everything. So you need to have two full sets of uh, tier one and tier two runes and a dream wood. <clears throat> now, the other thing to note is the living wood. <laughs> the living wood rod also requires a full set of <laughs> uh, runes. So this particular set was... Uh, rather painful to my inventory of runes <laughs> so i am down to one pride one summer one autumn and just a few of the the, the uh oh, earth fire water and i'm out of air and yeah it was uh it was a little bit painful i'm gonna admit that one so i'm 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 a hoarder i like having lots and lots and lots of the same things and that way when I need them I know I have them but uh, when I have to use them up and I don't necessarily <laughs> think that I'm going to have a reason oh yeah let's grab another full heart not all right and infuse yourself claim reward and node creation I did that one it's going to give me that I'm getting all kinds of bags. Let's come over here and start dumping some stuff off. 
Okay, uh, that goes here. Uh, I'll go ahead and consume that just to get it done. Okay, go here, get rid of that. That goes there. Oh, I got an epic bag. Oh, joy. So much fun. And one focus fire. Get rid of those buckets. Uh, Columnic inhibitor. And node in a jar. Yeah, I'll hold on to that one. Just because. Alright, and let's go ahead and turn in some more quests. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to say part of the, the fun right now for me in this is opening these reward bags and just seeing the utter garbage that I'm getting for them because it's just funny. It, it's, it's highly amusing to me because, well, fortunately, I, I'm not relying on them or needing them. Ooh, I got a Thomium Golem. And I got a Golem Upgrade Fire. Golem upgrade Earth. And now it's easier for me to see all the stuff that I haven't completed yet. This one I tried, but I don't have access to Ethereal Bloom yet. And whoops, let's go ahead and get rid of stuff. Don't need the stuff. File of Essentia Terra. I've got so much Terra in there already. Oh, Humanus, I need that. So let's go ahead. And yeah, right here. Let's go ahead and dump those in there. And dump this in there. Good. Good, good. Good, 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 good. A greater, legendary, and an epic. All right. So let's go see. Maybe I'll actually get something that's cool this time. And then maybe again. I'll win six lotteries at the same time. <laughs> All right, so let's do the greater first, then the legend, then the epic, then the legendary. Okay, so one. <laughs> Ooh, those will go real well with my other 12,000. <laughs> I don't know how many do I have. How many do I have? I have, yeah, I got 1,466. That helped. <laughs> Next one. A fishing rod. Now, this is um, not a plain reward. This is a troll reward because if you actually try to use this fishing rod, I believe this is the one that has dynamite. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see it, but those are dynamite sticks. <laughs> you go fishing and it goes boom. <laughs> All right, and... A wooden handrake and crops. Now, these are all greater rewards, folks. Remember that. Greater rewards. Okie dokie. That was fun. Now, epic. Epic! <laughs> Copper or berry bush. Wow, cool. I got two of them. All right. Legendary. Now, I think this is actually my first legendary bag. So... Let's see. What do you want to? Let's see. If I if I had to guess, um, either a stack of sixteen or thirty two dirt. What do you? Any side bets? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, bottle of enchanting. Woohoo! Wow. I'm going to say that that I would. I after looking at the loot that I've been getting from my bags. I would suspect that the entire loot table had been toned down. But the reality is I've seen other people's uh, streams and uh, their, their, the results that they're getting from their bags. And this just doesn't match. I'm just, I'm just getting some, some scary... Um, unfortunate drops and it's okay i mean I'm, I'm i'm not actually complaining i'm amused by it because because of having this set up first 
and all of the materials that were generated by it. I have got barrels and barrels and barrels of things that are all topped off, you know, it, and, and voiding, you know, bottom line. It's, it's, it's to the point where I've got so much materials that m most of the core stuff really is trivial. So I can't complain about not having, you know, this booster or that booster or, or other things that help me one point or another. So, you know, it's, it, like I said, it's the amusement value at this point. So, oh, that's what I haven't done. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go burn some witches. <laughs> um, burn the witch, burn the witch. What else can you do with wood? Make a bridge out of her. Okay, yes, more random movie quotes. And I would almost assume that everyone knows what I was talking about there. And if you don't, let me know. I'll ha happily recommend a movie for you that you have not seen recently, I can tell. Okay, then. Let's see. So, um, oh, that was it. That was the last one. I'm going to do this is less likely to be troll rewards. I'm going to sit there and shoot holes in my... I have collected 16 rare treasure bags so far. And actually, I want to empty that while I'm thinking about it, because this is all junk that I don't need in here. And I can get rid of, like so. Get rid of you. Sorry, I am, whoop, nope, you stay here. You go away. All of you come back. You go away. Yeah, I'm just trying to clean up some of my, uh, some of my inventory stuff here a little bit and you do know that I have this belt on so I hit B after a little bit of, of key map corrections and it swaps this belt which is located right here. So the traveler's belt is very useful for allowing you to have basically nine slots of permanent um, material on you and when I say permanent this is actually one way to cheat materials into the dream in witchery um, if you have witchery and you're running the witchery mod and you want to get materials and yeah it is a cheat it is most definitely a cheat um, you basically put whatever you want on the one on the one toolbar like you see down here right now look down here you'll see all of that now if I hit B and then I were to go to sleep and enter the dream as soon as I enter the dream I hit B again and all this stuff is still there in at least as of the one of the most recent versions um, that was a workaround in regrowth that I used and yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it. If it's built into the game, I'll use it. <laughs> All right. So now we have the rare treasures, and I'm expecting lots and lots of the same um, gold coins, potions, some armor, maybe some weapons, um, diamonds, uh, emeralds. You know. The, the core stuff, but let's see, because there's always the chance of the pearl, and that pearl is the awesome part. So let's see, there's one, and a lot of nada. Got some armor, got some gold. I'm going to move this stuff all out of the way so that I can see what it is that I get on each one of these. So, boom. That was useless. <laughs> and, ooh, more gold. There we go. Apprentice rings. Gold. And again, gold will automatically drop down into, into my inventory. So another piece of armor, another diamond, another emerald. These are all all fairly standard stuff ender pearl boots gold golden axe 
All right, let's start. Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw this stuff in here because it's already got such similar. Boom. And spread that out. So that's good and out of the way. Now, here we go. More gold, ender pearls, ender pearls, emeralds. And nope. And whoop, what did I get? Oh, more nothing. <laughs> Lots of nothing. Wow, I am just having such amazing luck. There we go. And we get two left, both at the same time. One, two. Didn't help. <laughs> All right. Well, that was anticlimactic again, but it's okay. So, um, right now what I'm working on is a super secret. It is my super secret Heidi spot. And my super secret Heidi spot is going to be where I put... Uh, where I put my spa. I'm going to have my own little spa retreat that allows me to um, to do my thing. So I need a spa. I need an aqueous accumulator. And I need um, buckets of water, which I think I already have in the system. Yep, there we go. One and two. And then I need, let's see, I think that's all I need. So I got my ax, which will allow me to do some, some chopping. And let's see, what else did I need? I need, where's Junior? There's Junior. All right, so um, go upstairs. Then we come over here, and we go up here, and this is where it's going to be. So I have, um, yeah, I'm using my lumber axe, which didn't like that. It's broken from cutting. That doesn't make sense. All right, well, I thought I was doing that that way to make life just a little easier but apparently this is going to be much easier this way <laughs> all right now i did specifically set this up as a three deep floor so that we can cut a uh, both a pit and then a place for the aqueous accumulator to sit below the sauna and it will fill, I believe, a five by five area. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gut this out like this. And it loves to have bark spawn in the middle of the tree for some reason, I don't know why. But we're going to start by gutting around the outside edge of the tree, just out to the bark, hollowing it out. And I don't know if I'm actually going to put a doorway outside. I might. I might just leave it as a as a little hidden safe safe zone. And I need my I need you to go like that because I know that this was plenty dark in a couple spots. Yeah, see. All right, and get back to work. Sniffle, 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 sniffle. Minor allergies. Always fun. We all get them. They suck. <laughs> oh, not what I wanted. Sunlight. Ah! Now, put that back. Foiled you, sunlight. You can no longer reach me. And bonk. Now 
Alright then. What the heck? Wow. I don't know what happened. But uh, I think this is why. <laughs> wow, that was weird. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to dive out of the way. <laughs> Oh, uh, falling material, run away. I think my lumber axe actually tried to take down the entire tree. That would have been uh, most <laughs> amusing. <laughs> Whoops, that means that there is... Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, this is not cool. All right, I need to check something here because I think it's, uh, oh yeah, it really did try to take down this whole tree. <laughs> Boy, that was an ambitious axe. <laughs> it shouldn't have done that while inside a tree that wasn't connected to the ground. Wow. Oh, wow. This is... I, 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 while I'm both shocked and mildly dismayed, it's also very interesting and amusing. Um... Yeah, good. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I didn't lose my whole tree, did I? Oh my god. Look at this. This is so bizarre. Oh wow. It took all of the wood from the... Whoa. Um You know what? I got to come out here. I got to Oh, that is bizarre. Okay. That was, that's just weird. That is just absolutely weird. All right, yeah, I'll put that there. But you know what? I've got to put, we've got to put a cap on this because I don't want something spawning in here. But, uh, wow, that is... That is pretty amazing. Now, the funny thing is, remember how I mentioned earlier that um, I don't live that far from an actual redwood forest? When a tree burns out, this is exactly what happens. It burns out the center core of the tree, and you end, there are a number of trees in this park that you can... Um, Oh, let's do it this way. This is going to take me forever otherwise. Um, there are a number of trees in the park that when you get inside one of these hollowed out trees, you look up through the top and it is like a chimney. There is absolutely nothing between you and the sky <laughs> and it's cool. All right, you go away, and you go away, and you go there, and let's see, I need, um, where is it? All right, yeah, that was just such a surprise that it gutted the whole tree. I'm going to go ahead and fill some of this back in, and I will be right back. Okay, well, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. Super Builder's Wand is great. <laughs> it fills in large areas at one time. So, back to what I was do doing and talking about. I'm going to cut away because I just realized that exploring the, uh, the innards of this tree took up a large chunk of my available time. So, let me uh, cut away and I'm going to get the spa set up and I will be right back. Okay, here we go. It is in place. It is set up. I have my 
salts and I have my soap and I did have to move the ceiling up one more. So my calculation was just slightly off. On this level is where the aqueous accumulator and the water is. And then above that is the spa, which then ejects fluids up the top. So you do that and it just fills that right in. And there you go. It will fill a five by five square. And I'm going to put a chest right here for the soaps. I'm gonna keep one. Throw that in there. I'm going to jump in. Whoa, it's pushing me out. Oh, that's not nice. You're so mean. All right, let's fill it in then. You know what? Let's just go ahead and fill it in. I'm cool with that. I think that'll work out real nice. And except for that. <laughs> All righty then. Take you out get you in place there we go and take you out you out whoa did i yeah i did have to go up to all right so grab that again boom chest right there and put all of the rest of the soap in there and let's do the little scrubby 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 <laughs> yay and I'm guessing that all of my salts are gone so yeah all right, so that should be uh, the sauna is now done. I just need to make more salts. And salts are, oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to make. You know what? Well, it's already running late. My next episode is going to be uh, wireless uh, AE. So I've got all the materials. I just need to plug it all in and set it up. And let's see, how am I doing here? Got another 11 nether wart, good. And let's throw that down here. Woo, yeah, run right off the edge. That would be <laughs> amusing. And I need, let's see, I think these are loaded. As long as there's, uh, because it one does three, so for 60, all I need is 20. So if there's 20 in here, then it will do a full stack or thereabouts. So that is good. And oh, to give you an example of how well it's working, I took one load of this already and threw it into the system. Let's go take a look at how much Sano we have in there. We have uh, 831. <laughs> So that uh, the the potions farm, I guess, is the best way to put it, is doing its job exactly as intended. And here we go. Let's throw another stack in here. And there we go. It'll start making more. And yay. And am I getting anything in here yet? Nope, I am not. So I have not overloaded the system to the point where that the primaries are overflowing into void jars, which is cool. And other than that, there's not a whole lot to say. I hope you had fun. I had a blast. Have yourself a fantastic day. Don't forget to hit that like or, the, you know, give me some comments. Tell me what you're thinking. 
And I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.